Hi guys, welcome to this video. I'm Prashant. I'm the founder of Word Pandit and I'm bringing this series of videos to you wherein I explain to you previous year CAT questions. Here we've got a CAT 2018 RC question. We'll get into the explanation for this particular question. Before you do that, I would request you to go through the passage analysis video for this RC passage and solve this question. Now, what is this particular question all about? This question asks you which one of the following conditions, if true, would invalidate the passage's main argument. Now, in order to invalidate the passage's main argument, you first need to identify what the main argument of the passage is. Now, let's label it. What is the main argument of the passage? The main argument of the passage is that meritocracy does not work right and then he goes on to state that tests are not a great way of identifying people so entrance tests or recruitment tests or any such tests which establish merit are also not great guides uh, the author talks about diversity you need diverse teams, you need diversity for optimal performance. So these are the different things that the author is talking about. Now, you've got to invalidate this, right? So you've got to, if you've got to invalidate the author's argument, you would have to use one of these answer options, which is going to prove that the author's argument is incorrect, right? You have to have to prove that meritocracy can exist and these tests can be useful in some way or the other. So that's what you've got to prove. Let's look at the answer options. Option number D, if a new machine learning algorithm were developed that proved to be more effective than the random decision forest, now, in this particular case, how do we relate this to meritocracy and tests? Uh, what if this new machine learning program is similar to the random decision making decision forest program? Right. If that is the case, then this won't create any difference. This will align with the passage itself. Hence, this option is ruled out. Option number C, if it were proven that teams characterized by diversity ended up being conflicted about problems and take a long time to arrive at a solution. The thing is, time is not considered as a factor in the passage, right? They are still arriving at the solution. Remember, it's about the best solution. It's not about time. So these teams are still arriving at the solution. So this does not address the author's main argument. This does not solve our problem. Option number B, if assessment tests were made more extensive and rigorous. So if you made them more extensive and rigorous, what would this do? How would this impact skills that you are trying to gauge? We don't know the answer to this question. Hence, this is inconclusive in nature. So option B, C, D ruled out. Option number A, if top scorers possess multidisciplinary knowledge that enable them to look at a problem from several perspectives. So this is the kind of diverse thinking that the author wants, the diversity in thinking, the diversity in knowledge, the diversity in approach. So they uh, possess top scorers possess multidisciplinary knowledge so this means tests can work this means meritocracy can work this means you've given a chance for meritocracy to work and which effectively means we've invalidated the argument of the author of the passage hence option number a is the correct answer here this is the kind of reasoning involved for this particular question and this is the approach you needed to adopt for this question hopefully so you are clear with the question now thank you very much for watching this video and as always happy learning